Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is our lecture number 5 for quantum mechanics. Uh, and if you want to watch the previous lecture, you can go through the description box. Link are given there. And you know in this channel, we actually discuss the different physics related part, theoretical part and some problem solution also. So if you want to other part also, you can go through the description box. The playlist have there. Yeah, you can watch them also. In this lecture, we want to discuss about the two slit experiment with photon and electron. That is the Young's double slit experiment. We already know about the Young's double slit experiment where the light treated as a uh, wave and from where the interference pattern actually happened. Now, if you do the same things with the electron, what will actually happen? And also, if you do this Young's double slit experiment with a single electron, then what will be the result? This will be actually discussed in this lecture, right? So if you was this, uh, if you saw the syllabus of this, this is actually syllabus for Calcutta University. This portion that is the black body radiation uh, up to this one uh, cover up in the before four lecture. And in this lecture, we want to cover up this portion, B portion that is two slit experiment with the photon and electron, with the photon and electron. And linear superposition principle as a consequence we want to discuss so this portion we actually want to cover in this lecture right and the upcoming session will be covered up this one also so let's start you know about the double slit experiment you know the, about the double slit experiment double slit or two slit two slit experiment 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 with photon before the photoelectric effect uh, phenomena of Einstein the light treated as a wave particle and from where you know this uh, double slit experiment that is the there is a two slit at a certain separation suppose D and there is a screen so the, the separation D so the light comes from these two, that is the two monochromatic light, it will be happening like that, waveform, and this waveform also comes here, and finally here the uh, intensity distribution will be like that, this is the center will be uh, constructive interference, destructive, constructive, and like that, right? So the intensity distribution will be like that, so this is the constructive, constructive, and this one is the destructive so alternatively constructive and destructive interference happen there and the brain, uh, fringe width beta equals to d lambda by d this is the fringe width that is the uh, constructive to constructive successive constructive separation that is beta or the destructive separation also beta these are the same okay so this is the uh, double slit experiment with the photon or the light now if this uh, uh, photon uh, this is actually double slit experiment with light with light now if you take this light as a photon particle and the number of photon will be reduces then what will be happening suppose this is the fringe of light so this is the fringe with the light so if you wants to draw uh, if you take this as a center and the alternatively dark and bright band actually arises dark and bright band actually arises if you take this the center so this is dark and then bright this is dark and then bright dark bright alternatively they are generate alternatively dark bright uh, fringe this is due to light now if you reduce the photon particle then what happen if you take this as a experiment with the photon with the huge number of photon what happens uh, there is a photon arises here and no photon here so similarly here photon arises here photon arises like that the light means their photon arises this is a photon particle they are photon particle arises here okay if you take this example so these are the position where the photon arises if you reduce the number of photon, a huge number of photon, here the huge, huge number of photon. This happens for huge number of photon. Now, if you reduce the number of photon, what happens? If you <coughs> reduce the number of photon, the <coughs> density of photon here reduces. That means 
there is a less number of photon there is a less number of photon like that okay that will be happen now if you reduce uh, uh, very few, few photon then like that okay so a reduce reduce number of photon reduce number of photon so here actually uh, you need to know about the two observation what observation what number one the prediction of the uh, photon where the photons will be come from uh, after double slit where the photon will become is not detectable it is the probability right so exact location we cannot say of the photon exact exact location of photon particle photon particle cannot cannot be say photon particle exact location kintu bola jabe na exact location of the photon particle cannot be set <coughs> so this is actually probabilistic this is actually this is actually probabilistic probabilistic phenomena that is the proportional so this is actually probabilistic right so this is the probabilistic pattern probabilistic probabilistic pattern right number two density of the proportional is the wave theory that means the uh, density of this particle depending upon the wave theory the density density of particle is like wave theory wave theory so when the light taken as a wave theory this was a constructive this is destructive and the density of the particle also follow up the uh, wave theory of particle so this is the evidence again says that the light treated as a dual nature that is the wave theory as well as particle theory okay now if you do the same experiment with the electron if you do the same experiment with the electron that is the two slit experiment experiment with electron with electron then what happened just like a photon particle just like a photon particle the electron electron experiment say gives your same result here the electrons comes here electron gun if you arrange this electron gun electron gun where the electron generate and this comes here and finally the distribution of this uh, electron will be like the same as like the photon particle so this is the same as like a photon particle distributed in the separated manner and if you reduce the number of electrons uh, from the source this reduces and finally will be like that but the nature uh, is the similar like that the photon so you reduce the number of electrons reduce reduce the number of number of electron okay so here the <coughs> actually happening the same probabilistic phenomena now if you look at the uh, uh, result for a single electron if you take a single electron single electron this uh, uh, probability uh, output or the slit experiment will gives you like that at a certain time there is a where that region after a certain time there is a, there, so this is a probabilistic region so the, this electron also comes sometimes from here or here or here so this is the probabilistic phenomena probabilistic result probabilistic okay so finally you can say that is the uh, this is the in case of electron and uh, after that this will, will be actually uh, experiment with the other matter also and finally concluded so any particle in the nature having the 
dual nature. So the dual nature any particle of dual nature, dual nature that is the uh, dual nature that is the wave theory and particle theory, wave theory and particle theory. Okay. So any particle have two nature that is the wave nature and the particle nature. Wave nature and the particle nature actually happen in the two slit experiment with the electron when the electron behaves like that. Okay. And here the principle now if you do the same things uh, with the help of a human if you if you do the same things with the help of a human body like that if you the do do the double slit experiment with the human body what happen you know the human body mass is high so the wave associated with the particle that is the de Broglie hypothesis will be root over h by p uh, that is the m p and this is high uh, so this lambda will be very less very small so since the lambda is very small you must you must the part uh, you must the slit with slit with slit with of the range of the lambda you know the condition for the double slit experiment you know the condition condition for double slit experiment double slit you know the double slit experiment condition that is the slit width that is the slit width slit width must be comparable with the size of the wavelength slit width must be comparable the size of the wavelength so here since here the wavelength in that case is very small so the slit width will also be very small such that you can obtain this interference pattern and here the human size human human size is not matches with this small size that's why this human cannot uh, experience this type of double slit experiment so finally you understand these things they uh, this is the actually uh, probabilistic oscillation if you wants to know what is the uh, what quantity actually oscillate in the particle uh, of the electron what quantity what quantity quantity oscillate oscillate the answer will be probability the probability of this electron actually oscillate the probability to finding the electron on the screen actually oscillated here right so the probability 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 to finding probability to finding the, so that is the probability probability is oscillating right so the probability is oscillating here yeah, this is the important thing actually we obtain okay so uh, and the corresponding superposition theorem also find out here that is the wave associated this is the wave associated from the two particles here the superposition principle also happening here that is the interference pattern actually happen due to the superposition theorem so finally our conclusion is that the with the help of this uh, wave particle nature that is at the very beginning when the young double speed experiment was done the uh, light is treated as a wave and the uh, superposition of wave there is a uh, constructive and destructive interference happen now uh, in 1905 when the einstein photoelectric effect discovered the einstein the uh, theory explain uh, this explained by the light treated as a particle the photon particle right now if this photon a number of photon if you reduce then what happens the nature will be the same but the density will be reduces right so this uh, probability uh, finding of the particle in probabilistic region is superimposed or the same as we are after in the uh, wave nature of the light now this number of particle uh, this photon is replaced by electron the same phenomena actually happening here also this this is the same things like here and if you take the single electron this will pattern will be also obtained uh, the uh, probability of the particle to finding is the 
matches with that one. And then now if you uh, say about the uh, human body, since the human body mass is massive, lambda will be small and since you know the lambda is much comparable with the uh, fluid width, so this is impossible to pass out the human with this, this fluid. Okay. So that's it for today. This is all about me and this is my contact detail. You can connect with me with the telegram channel. This is my online platform and this is my YouTube channel details. Go to the channel, you will be get different series related videos on mathematics. Like this session, if you learn something from this session, share this video to your friends that he or she also get benefit from this video. Subscribe this channel if you mean this channel. Those are already subscribed. Thanks for subscribing. Press the bell icon to get notification of our videos. So take care. We'll meet in the next video. Thank you.